Hi everyone. Uh, a bit of a fatality in my lab. Uh, I use this uh, laminator for my uh, toner transfer for PCB etching and stuff like that uh, to uh, make my PCB so I can have it etched at home. And uh, today I tried to use this and it just blew up on me. Uh, I think what happened is the the little heater in here it just uh, give out. Uh, it was on the way out anyway. It's starting to uh, uh, you know w when you left it on for about five minutes for it to warm up, uh, tend to you know get a bit funny smell coming out of it and stuff like that. So it finally died on me. And um, I decided this was good for what I was using it for at the beginning, but slowly, slowly, as I said before, as you can see here, these um, little rubber thing. Th these are heat resistant, but unfortunately when you left it, this on for about 5 or 6 minutes it used to get a bit of a, as you can see here, a bit of a blob uh, appearing here and on this side and then it will it will get to the where the heater is and it will like, you know, it will, it will affect the, the way I was making the PCB and it was just, uh, it wasn't turning on properly, it, was, it wasn't spinning around something, the PCB will get, PCB will get stuck on it so it was just a bit of a bit of a mess at the end of his life and it finally stopped so I decided you know what I'm not gonna buy this laminator anymore uh, anyway so just chuck this away and what I've made is this super laminator as you can see here this is a heavy duty uh, as you can see very very heavy Ugh see here that's the, that's the motor and um, I bought this um, well I bought a laminator this laminator from uh, eBay for about 20 pound I just took it apart and um, so I got the the roller and the heater here and I got the motor which you can see here this side and you can see all the gears are all made of metal so this is really heavy duty stuff it can handle anything you throw at it. Yeah, we just get rid of the soldering station. So what I got here, I've got the mains coming in here. I've got a little switch for the heater, and I've got the wire here for the motor. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect this to my power supply. If I can get the Ooh, there they are. There we are. So I'll connect this here. And oh, that's not it. There we go. This is just something I've just built today. So hopefully in the future what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little uh, timer here for the heater. I'm just gonna make a little five by five timer. Uh, this heats up. In about uh, three minutes, it's ready to uh, to put your PCB through, and so I'm gonna make a little timer for with a 555 to you know turn it off after five minutes, and then just wait about I don't know about three or four minutes again, turn it on and then turn it off again. I didn't want to put any microcontrollers or anything like that to uh, to uh, what's it called to check the uh, temperature and stuff like that because I don't really need it. As you can see here, at the moment, it's spinning really fast. If I bring it down on my power supply, I can really slow it down. And if I just grab a PCB, there we go. Here we are, just a normal PCB here. And there we go. I've just got a little switch here on this side here to control uh, the direction of the motor so I can have it you know taken in or I can have it taken out you can see here just bring the voltage down I can control the speed so what I might do I might just uh, control this motor with the PWM so I might just have a little PWM uh, hooked on here and so then I can adjust the, uh, the speed of the motor here instead of speeding you know controlling via the voltage at the power supply as you can see it's just going in so the f these first rollers are not connected 
this basically is uh, you got two, these two connected to the heater and this is acting as a cooler so obviously you got these two heating up so if the if it's going that way and then I once I bring it here this will cool the cool the board down as you can see here it's going down so it's past the first uh, the first roller now and as you can see there's a bit of a gap between the rollers so what I can do I can have a little um, uh, LED shining from uh, sorry infrared shining from the top to the bottom so then that way I know which state the the PCB is at then I can like you know put a little uh, make a little circuit so automatically when it reaches to the end then it can just uh, reverse the polarity of the uh, motor and it can again as you can see it's just pull it back this way so just bring it to the shot as you can see now it's, co it's coming back again so what I'm going to do as I had before I used to put the PCB in it will go out and then take it out and put it back in again so now this way I can just instead of you know handling the PCB when it's hot I can quickly uh, just as you can see here it's coming out if I switch the thing back is go back again that way as you can see so with this little switch uh, I came to the shot with this little switch I can control which uh, direction the PCB goes so I can just pull it back if I speed it up a bit you can see here it's coming this way if I turn it back again it's going that way what I can do I can make a little um, little circuit to have it just you know just go back and forth maybe in a, like a little counter tell me how many times it's gone back and forth and then you know once it reaches I don't know I need to test this once it reaches maybe five turns or six turns then it can just stop and come out but uh, this is this is really 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 heavy you know heavy duty stuff uh, the the laminator uh, brand new was about 600 pound believe it or not and I bought it uh, for about 20 pound or I think 20 or 30 pound delivered and uh, it was just been sitting in my room uh, I didn't do anything with it I was just you know, planning to fix it but uh, now that my uh, uh, laminator broke for the PCB I said you know what forget about fixing this for uh, actually laminating stuff I'm just gonna take it apart and use it for my uh, for my PCB uh, development at home as you can see here this motor here I'll just bring the camera down this motor here is really really capable of you know handling whatever you throw at it as you can see here and I like the fact that these gears are made of metal so you don't get like you know anything you did with the other laminator that I had it can handle whatever you throw at it so this is just this is just what I made quickly today because I was just uh, I needed to develop some PCBs it makes some PCB for the project that I'm working on which I uh, I've done a lot of videos on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put the video later on on uh, on YouTube. Okay, as you can see here, and this is the power switch here for uh, for the heater. And you can see here, I just got a little uh, connected there for the mains to come in. So I just let it to come out. As you can see there, that's it. So here we go. And then this way it will turn off clockwise and anti-clockwise. So as I said before, um, as you can see here, the rollers got a little um, uh, space between them. So what I might do, I might just have uh, infrared LEDs coming from the bottom, and then I have have a sensor at the top here, so it will sense which stage the board is at. So once it reaches this stage, after like you know a second, it can just reverse the polarity of the motor and again bring the board back. And then once it reaches this stage, the board, then I can just pull it back. And then I can have a little counter with the seven segment display here to tell me how many times the board is going back and forth. So then I know uh, you know when to stop this uh, uh, motor, stop the motor, and then take my PCB out. So. Here's just a quick little video to show you what I've you know what I've done with this uh, laminate board. And thanks for watching. And until next video, goodbye.